الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم من بعد The Muslim community has to become more vigilant more vigilant in denouncing terror and this is to please Allah first and foremost as a form of ibadah to make clear the true Islamic stance regarding terror and wanton violence and killing and to make clear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's religion because it's all for Allah I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. This is the statement of Allah. That our purpose, our divine, the purpose we're here for is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have an obligation and a duty to make clear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's religion. To show that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His religion is free from terror and any contradictions. To show that the actions and deeds of those people who busy themselves with the mistakes of others, so much so that they make takfir, they declare other Muslims to be heretics without the right to do so, without the principles laid down by Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, without the principles that are derived from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet, وسلم, but rather those people are only satisfied with blood. Those people are only satisfied with what they consider to be jihad. Those people are only satisfied with causing fitna and fulva. They have no vision for the Muslim community. In fact, most of the time they don't even view the rest of the Muslims as, as Muslims. And this is why the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Al Khawarij kilab al nar the Khawarij, they're the dogs of the hellfire. And we should all be passionate about denouncing the Khawarij. And we should all be passionate and share the same passion about denouncing terror. Because this only serves the purpose of the shaitan, of the devil, and the shayateen from the jinn will ins, the devils from amongst men and amongst the jinn in the spirit world. Their purpose is only served by this. This is why every time one of those tekfiris rears his ugly head and begins to speak about the religion of Allah and begins to distort the religion of Allah and reveals his, his self or herself as one of those befitting to be called the dogs of the hellfire that we have to denounce them that we should go against them that we should avoid them that we should make hajr of them we should not even give them salams unless they're a person who is ignorant who is in need of clarification but many of the ones that are supposedly learned they don't want to hear anything. They don't even want to debate Ahl Sunnah. Rather, they spend their time making takfir and declaring other Muslims' blood to be lawful and their wealth to be lawful, meaning that they can take it and that they can plunder it and that they can take their lives and the lives of their families. This is what Ahl Sunnah is against. This is what the Salafiyun are against. This is what the Salaf were against. The Salaf only differed with regards to were the Khawarij uh, disbelievers or not. Some of the Salaf, most of the Salaf, in fact, held the view that the Khawarij were Muslims that had went astray, that were deviant. But another group of the Salaf believed they weren't even Muslims and they were pra they were they derived this hukum, this ruling, based on the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, where he said that the, the Khawarij would would enter the religion and leave the religion like a arrow being shot from the bow. 
that they will travel through its target, that they, they would leave the religion. So they explain this to mean that they would leave the religion, meaning they would be disbelievers. But another group of the Salaf said, no, they're believers, but yet that they have strayed from the path. This lets us know the difference between Salafis and terrorists. The difference between Salafis and the Khawarij. The difference between Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah, which are the Salafis, and other groups and sects like Akhwan and Muslimin, Jama'at al Takfir wal Hijra. and all the other various groups, the Sururiyun, the other extremist sects and groups that exist today that distort the image of Islam. Ahl Sunnah is tired of this, of their religion being played with. Ahl Sunnah invites everyone to come back to Kitabillah. Wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself And the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam Ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam